case happened in my country, and I'm sure it happened in many other countries as well, is the following. Uh, we have a Landesbank in, in Saxony, in the land of Saxony, that uh, normally does what a Landesbank is commissioned to do, namely finance the small and medium-sized companies and finance infrastructure projects. That's basically what it is. Of course, in doing so, you cannot make 20% or even 25% on your, on your equity. You make maybe 5 or 7%. So they want to also do, to, to, to be in part of the uh, excellently performing big banks like Deutsche Bank with under Joseph Ackermann, etc. So they said, we invest in these, in these uh, structured products, but we do it in, in, by setting up a so-called special purpose vehicle uh, or conduit in another jurisdiction. So London's Bank Saxon base set up a, a company in Ireland, you know, and that, uh, that company <coughs> invested in these products. And so it was off the books in, the, in, in, in Germany. It was a maybe small footnote making reference to a subsidiary, but no details given. And the German supervisor, rather than saying, well, hey, what is this? I know it's under the jurisdiction of my Irish colleague who is supervising all the Irish banks. At least I want to have a talk with him and I want to be sure he looks into it. But what <laughs> happened is the German said, it's none of my business, I don't look at it. And the Irish said, well, this is a subsidiary of a German bank, I don't look at it either. So, and there was no feedback and there was no, no close coordination. Uh, and this, this, is, uh, this was the bad part. And it, it went even further. You know, since money was so cheap in the money market, the bank did not say, okay, I, I buy here a, a, a product or invest in a product that will mature in five years' time. So I better finance it for a period of five years. What the investor, in this case the, the, the sex bank did, said, Money in the money market is really cheap. I get it for a percent or maybe a percent and a half. So I take the short-term uh, sh money with, uh, for a percent and a half. I invest in a, in a product that runs for five years. Now, when the crisis hit, all of a sudden the, the, the money market was dead. The interbanking market was dead. The, 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 the bank could not get any money. Had it invested or financed the purchase with the same, with the same, uh, for the same period, at least it, it, it would have, you know, been able to, to let go and, and go on. And, uh, and since it, this was not the case, all of a sudden there was no liquidity, and uh, there was the collapse was was of course uh, unavoidable. So here we have already the supervisors now that also were wrong. And when you look at it, you can really add one after the other. It was also, of course, the, the poor risk management on behalf of the, um, in, in, within the, within the, the, the banking uh, community. Uh, it was the, the over-reliance on, on um, models rather than on practical business experience. In the old days, you know, there would be a guy or lady that's been around for 20 or 30 years that had it under her or his fingertips, you know, and had, had a very good practice. This was, it was not called for anymore. What was called for is the, the model and what the model produced as a result, you know. The causes are clear and therefore we have to address not just one thing, we have to really look into a various, uh, a, a wide range of, of, of areas. This war became clear also when the G20 got together after the Lehman collapse. They got, and I think this was a good initiative on the part of uh, Nicolas Sarkozy to say, this is a global crisis, <laughs> we better find global answers and do not react one by one anymore. And the G20 or the G7 or G8 is not the right forum anymore. We have to set up the G20 and get involved powers of tomorrow, like China, India, Brazil, Russia, etc., and this is what they did. Now, um, they pledged in the first meetings, they got together in Pittsburgh, as you know, then in London, uh, no, Washington, London, Pittsburgh, Toronto, and now Seoul, uh, and they pledged after the first meeting, we want a, a, to give a global answer to the global crisis, and every product, every market participant, and every jurisdiction will be regulated basically along the same lines. Now that was quite a, 
quite a promise at the, at the time. It rather quickly became, became clear that the intention may have been there, but the practical possibilities to actually implement this approach did not exist. We did follow, uh, first of all, there was a firefighting. You know, when Lehman collapsed, uh, everybody tried to, to, the fire would come through the roof, and everybody tried to make sure that his part of the house would not burn down. So the Americans reacted, the English, the French, the Germans, everybody pretty much. They acted in similar ways, but it was not identical. And so the result of these necessary but somewhat uh, not sufficiently coordinated measures was that we did have already a distortion of the competitive uh, scenario. You know? There was no longer that uh, level playing field that, that, that we had before, and even still today we don't have it really fully. Uh, and then we also fought a different approach because we have different traditions. The Americans, we've seen it in the, in the Barnes-Oxley uh, uh, law already, the Americans go and prepare a huge bill that tries to address all the topics that, in this case, in uh, this particular case, the crisis has, uh, uh, has, has uh, shown, uh, have to be looked at. So. Christopher Dodd, Barney Frank went to get put, you know, went to work and, and put together a huge reform bill, 2,300 pages, and it's everything in there from uh, what a bank may do or not do, whether she can, uh, the, the bank can do proprietary trading or not, uh, the derivative uh, trading, <coughs> the credit rating agency, every compensation, everything has been addressed, but. It does not really spell out the details. The details are being left to a large extent to the supervisors and regulators. So what the really will happen in the very end, in the very end, you only know once the supervisors have actually started implementing the thing. We here in the European Union we follow a different approach. We take one subject after the other, whether it's credit rating agencies, derivatives, alternative investment funds, compensation, capitalization of the banks, you know, it's one after the other and we try to work it through and the idea is that by summer next year, so only six, seven months down the road, we will have put, uh, we will have come up with legislation in the form of, of a directive or in the form of a resolution, the resolution has to be implemented exactly as is, a, a directive leaves to the member states some sort of latitude of, of adding something or modifying slightly, etc. We will we'll, uh, hope to be through it by summer next year and Michel Barnier, the commissioner in charge of the internal market and, and, and the financial uh, services, uh, has pledged personally that this is b what he want, w wants to achieve. Now, um, I would say uh, uh, the result, of course, by definition, is that <laughs> we will not have the absolutely identical thing. A comparison, what is the U.S. action, what is the EU action, where do we have convergence, and where don't we have convergence, only partial convergence. And we looked at, at questions like capital requirements, securitization, derivatives, propriety trading, investor-consumer protection, crisis resolution, that is when a bank uh, is, you know, really put to the wall, what, what, how, what, what can we do then? A kind of restructuring or insolvency procedure. Accounting standards, credit rating agencies, hedge funds, uh, private equity, remuneration, supervision and insurance. So a lot of topics that we are working on and in some areas even we are working on more than one legislative proposal and we compared what, have, what is the Frank Dodd or Dodd-Frank bills doing and what are doing. Where do we have, you know, convergence? With? And I, I, I'm, you know, I have to say, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I have to say, that we have partial conversions that may in fact improve and eventually become more or less complete conversions. Only in, and those are 20, 20 areas that I just read, one, two, three, for five in five, five out of twenty, where we, I would say we will eventually have convergence, and in the others we have no or very little convergence. 
So this shows that the, the, the promise that the G20 made, you know, global, same global answer to the global crisis, 